everyone and welcome back to my channel Shelly's Millions. In today's unemployment update I want to talk about three main issues that seem to crop up with your California EDD unemployment claims over the weekend. Those three things are one you should have been able to certify but the button wasn't even there for you to do it. Two some of you have lower weekly benefit amounts and you're not sure why and three, a lot of you have one week paid and one week pending. So I wanna try and get into all of that and what you need to do about it. Normally I'm busy asking you to like the video, but today I wanna to thank you for those of you that watched my Graham Stefan interview video. I know that that wasn't my usual content, but by you watching that video and liking it and commenting on it really could increase my chances of getting that job which I want very badly. The comments from those of you that have watched it really touched my heart, and I just wanted to say thank you, and I really do appreciate you. Unfortunately, in terms of the first issue, if the button isn't there for you to certify, and you know it's your certification day, the only way that I know to clear that up is by calling the EDD. And of course, once you finally get through to them, it is something that they're able to help with right away. So if you were supposed to be able to certify yesterday, like all up until yesterday, it said that you should certify yesterday and then yesterday you went on and you weren't able to certify because the link button wasn't there, you'll have to call them to get them to add that on for you. For those of you that are wondering why the California EDD may have changed your weekly benefit amount, for some of you it may have gone lower and for some of you it actually may have gone higher. The EDD said it was about a 50-50 split of people whose benefits would be lower versus people whose benefits would be higher with almost no claims remaining exactly the same. And that should be if you were somebody who started off on a regular unemployment claim, you were probably moved to the PEUC extension. Then when it came to qualifying for the Fed Ed extension, you didn't have enough earnings history to qualify. At that point, they would have put you on a PUA claim so that you could continue getting some benefits. Well, how the stimulus bill was written that passed back on December 27th, if you were on a PUA claim, they are making the unemployment offices put you back on the PEUC extension. So that's not something that the California EDD just randomly decided to do. Unfortunately, that was required by the last stimulus bill, but that should only be happening to you if you were denied Fed Ed, you were put on PUA, and now they're moving you back to the PEUC extension. Even if you're getting a lower weekly benefit amount, that won't affect your ability to get that extra $300 boost. That extra $300 unemployment boost is available as long as you are collecting unemployment benefits and as long as you get at least $1 in benefits from unemployment. If you are someone that is being moved from a PUA claim back to PEUC, you should have received a notice that looks something like this. And I apologize because the screenshot is blurry, but I will read that for you. In your California EDD UI online messages, they should have sent you something like this. The one I have is dated 2-13-2021. The subject is up to 11 weeks on Pandemic Emergency Unemployment Compensation Extension. The Employment Development Department, EDD, is contacting you because you have collected benefits under the Federal Pandemic Unemployment Assistance, PUA program. We automatically moved you to a Pandemic Emergency Unemployment Compensation, PEUC extension, with up to an additional 11 weeks of benefits effective February 7th, 2021. Why did I move from PUA to PEUC? You do not qualify for PUA benefits if you are eligible for regular unemployment insurance, PEUC, or Federal State Extended Duration, FedEd, extension benefits. 
Per the Federal Continued Assistance Act, CAA of 2020, Public Law 116-260, individuals who previously used all their PEUC benefits and began collecting PUA benefits must now be placed back on their PEUC extension once the EDD completes programming to make this possible. Did my weekly benefit amount change? Your weekly benefit amount may have changed if the amount you collected on your previous PEUC extension was different than the amount you collected on your PUA claim. If your weekly benefit amount is lower on your PEUC extension than the PEUA weekly benefit amount, the CAA requires the EDD to pay the lower amount on your PEUC extension. View your remaining balance and weekly benefit amount on your UI online homepage. And that may also be why some people are reporting seeing a lower claim balance as well. If they've lowered your weekly benefit amount, then the claim balance would be lower as well. For more information about these changes, visit Federal Provisions for Unemployment, Sincerely, Employment Development Department. So you should have a letter that reads something like that, letting you know that they were making that change to your unemployment claim. If you had a claim balance and you have one week paid and one week pending, it might be for one of these reasons. Did you get the notice that you were being switched from PUA to PEUC? It may just be that the system is still updating that switch and that could be why that second week is stuck on pending, not paid, or in A. But as always, it's never normal to be pending for more than 72 hours. So if your claim doesn't switch to paid soon on that second week, you might wanna give them a call to find out if there's anything that they need from you and just to make sure that everything is moving along as expected on your claim. The other reason you might have one week paid and the second week pending, and this does not apply to anyone on PUA. This only applies to people on a regular unemployment claim. What may be happening is your benefit year may be over. And if your benefit year may be over, even if you've gone past your benefit year and you've been certifying and have been paid in the past, it may just be that the computer has finally realized that your benefit year is over and you may need to reapply or try and open a new claim before you can get paid. What you're gonna wanna do to try and figure out if that might be the reason why you weren't paid for the second week, you wanna look on your UI Online homepage right above the payment status where it would say pending, NA, not paid, or paid, and look at the start date of your claim. And if it has been more than one year since the start date of your claim, that is most likely why you're stuck on pending. And I do also recommend calling the EDD for help with that. If you only had enough money on your unemployment claim to pay you for one week, then it's normal to just get paid for one week, see your balance go down to zero, have the second week say not paid or in A, that usually means that they are in the process of switching you to the next extension. So that is fairly normal. And after your claim balance goes down to zero, it's even normal to see the maximum benefits paid message. Usually the maximum benefits paid message goes away on its own, but because there's so much backlog right now at the EDD, you may have to call so that you can certify again on time. I'm sure that you've noticed that I've started to mention Yada Bank a lot at the end of these videos. And I'm going to be honest, I, I do like the bank, but part of the reason why I'm starting to push a savings account right now is because even though that new stimulus bill is expected to pass, it's expected to extend our unemployment benefits, I'm nervous about the timeline that it's gonna take the EDD to complete those changes. So I really do encourage everyone, if you can, to save as much money as you can. We still have people on unemployment in California who have not been paid and have not been able to certify since December 27th. 
those people aren't going to be able to get paid and certify until March 7th and that's almost two months without benefits. So even if you don't use Yada Bank, which, which is the one that I like because it pays you the most interest and they have fun prizes, but even if you don't use that bank, I really encourage you to try and save as much as you can so that if there's delays in the rollout of the next stimulus package, if computer programming takes a long time, if there's delays that we don't expect, that we try and be as prepared as we possibly can be. If you've already done all that and you're all set and you are in a place in your life where you want to start investing money, I do like the stock trading app Weeble. When you use my link in the description down below, you get two free stocks after you make an initial deposit of $100 or more on the platform. All right, guys, I'm going to go live in a little bit. Um, I'm still going live every Sunday morning at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and Mondays at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So I'll see you later.